Wilson Morales from Black Femin TV. Hey, Karen, how's it going? Wilson, how are you? Looking good this morning. How's it going? <laughs> good. To paraphrase a line that you said through another character, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I like Mia. You know, she's this strong black woman who's got to be the conduit between the brass and the reporters when everybody's got drama. You know, how much more am I saying, you know, that's hopefully maybe the same or different in season two? <laughs> uh, it's different because Mia becomes the executive producer of the morning show. So she has a great deal more power or it's perceived to have more power, right? Um, she receives the morning show when it's in the middle of a transition. So it's a very difficult time. But over season two, you see her grapple with the difficulties of, of making that transition and leading a news organization forward. Uh, along with Greta Lee's character, Stella Bach, and, and Billy Crudup's char character, Corey Ellison, managing all the personalities and dealing with matters related to race politics and gender politics. I mean, it's it's a lot. Definitely is a lot to handle. You know, when you took on this series, was there any research you did into people, into the character you're playing? Did you talk to anybody who's in that role to see what they're dealing with? Right. In February 2020, before COVID hit, I spent a day at Good Morning America with Michael Korn, who uh, is in what uh, was the um, executive producer at the at Good Morning America, and and watched his back and forth, how he handled things in the morning with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos and their producers and. Yeah, I definitely had to do my research and, and how to make sure I got it right. I wanted Mia Jordan to be different from Charlie Chip Black, I, from Mark Duplass's executive producer, but I also wanted the opportunity to show her growth from episode one, season two, to episode 10, season two. So that was important to me. And then even with the job, in terms of the character, you know, the, the word mental health has been used a lot, but in that role, it's a lot to take on, as you just mentioned, what they got to deal with. You know, how does one, per how does a person in that role go home and try to sleep at night? <laughs> Wake up in the morning and goes, okay, another day, another drama. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing that we show in the morning show is that, um, you know, the people who do morning television don't really have a life outside of, you know, they sleep at the office, you know. Um, uh, they're up very early in the morning and they they uh, they tend to work straight through the day. It's, it's a 24 hour news cycle. So it's a 24 hour day for many journalists and many news organizations in America right now. So um, it's it's, you know, enjoyable to portray characters who are just so ambitious and on the go. It's a lot of fun. Now you're on this. You're on Yellowstone. Obviously, COVID happened. Was there any hesitation about coming back to either show? Oh, for sure. There's a ton of hesitation. <laughs> you do it anyway. And I think what, what I, you know, on the morning show, we were so focused on really trying to keep ourselves healthy so we could keep the crew healthy. Um, it was a joint, you know, effort. We all linked arms and decided, hey, we're, we're going to try to tell a daring and bold story, even in the midst of a pandemic. And it wasn't easy. It, some days it was it was a little scary, but uh, I think that our audiences are going to love season two of The Morning Show. And that's why I said, I like that girl. I like her. <laughs> it's good talking to you. Good seeing you. We'll talk down the road. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Wilson. Have a great day.